had to make a makeshift energy meter and then I've got live and neutral for a couple of ammeters. Um, the one on the right is the only one that's calibrated, that's the neutral, the one on the left is live. Going into a, a simple load. Then coming off a shoddy earth because I have exactly the same problem in this country as you do. They're actually very well put together. Plus I'm at work and there's a, a 2000 amp transformer less than 50 yards away from me. So actually trying to get a shoddy earth was quite difficult. I've put a load on the end of the earth. Um, 233 volts line to neutral. bit difficult I suppose you may have to tap my word for this or not 1.67 1.6 volts ish down to ground this is the same ground that's what I've connected so it might be a little bit less but now what did puzzle me was the one on the left live one on the right neutral that is also monitoring the live I've also got a clamp meter across the earth cable that I'm going to use. And a simple load on the end of this earth, simply connecting into neutral. Watch what happens when I do. So you see it in the fluke. As you can see, the current from the live side isn't really rising at all. The current on the neutral side is, and also the current, obviously, going through the, the corresponding earth. Um, now, to me, I'm going to do a little demonstration of what I think is going on, but to me, this doesn't look like the end user is actually paying for the power. It doesn't look like it's going down the live. I'd, um, I'd like you to explain it to me if I'm wrong. Thank you. Right, I said I'd give a good, my best explanation that I could of what I thought was going on. I'm hoping you can shed some light on it, to be fair. Um, we all know AC runs in different ways, but we're going to go with conventional flow. It's flowing through the load, through the neutral, and back to the start point in the transformer, which is quite simple. Um, the bit that does get tricky, though, is, as I've shown in the demonstration, that the, the um, live two ammeters which are these figures here somewhere don't raise whatsoever but shockingly the neutral raises to coincide with what's going through the earth as well now I'm unsure of what the inductance is on 50 yards of a neutral cable on its own going down what we call here a TT system which basically means that it has no earth, it uses a spike um, or a piece of metal or something that's connected to the ground as opposed to a TNS which is the way the system's set up properly um, which uses a cable to give you your earth. Um, I believe the current is coming from the star point. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think anything is free. It's been directly sourced from the delta side um, but doesn't seem to be going through either of the Y points because obviously two of them are connected. I'm only connected to the star point of the neutral, uh, to the star point of the transformer. Um, to me, this looks completely free. Um, I believe there will be some laws of abstraction um, on actually doing this in whichever country you're in. 
Um, but it's clear evidence of it not actually running through the live. Um, can you explain further, please? <laughs> 